My name is Eric Anderson. Uh, I work at Development Seed. We worked with the World Bank team to build data.worldbank.org. What I want to show today are some of the new features that we're about to launch on, uh, on the latest version. What's most exciting here is uh, the actual number of data points. Back in April, when we first, uh, first launched the site, we were, we were working with about 340 uh, different data points. Uh, we're now up to around uh, 1,200 different data points. We're actually allowing people to take data with them now and actually put it in, in their sites. With so many data points now, we need to make it really easy to be able to dive in and, and find the different, uh, different indicators. So one of the nice features here is on find the indicator side, you can just start typing. So as we start typing uh, GDP, it will pull up all indicators with GDP in it. So, but let me jump now over to one of the new indicators. Um, we can go to hospital beds per uh, 1,000 people. And you can see right off the bat, you get uh, a world average trend line for that particular indicator. And what we can do here is we can quickly uh, start typing and comparing countries to each other. So let's pull up Pakistan here. And again, just as you, as you start typing, it will just add them in. And let's also pull up, uh, yeah, let's, let's compare hospital beds per 1,000 in India and Pakistan. As we can see, they're pretty close here, here in Pakistan, 0.7. India starts pulling ahead here. What's great about this is not just that I can make custom custom graphs, but I can actually click embed, and it will pull up uh, a small window for me and allow me to just grab the embed code. And now I can drop this in actually any site. So um, not only is there more data and it's easier to find, but you can also grab it and uh, put it in your own site. So.